Yeah, I agree. That look clearly looks like it. Bruh. You know that? Yeah. Welcome back everybody to Classic Firearms YouTube channel. We're out here at Take Aim Training and Range here for the battle of the battle rifles. I'm Clint, we've got Kaya with us. What's up guys? We've got Aaron. Ladies, gentlemen. And we've got Jason. Hey folks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now, I'm excited for this because 762 NATO, even though there's superior rounds out there arguably, is quite possibly one of my favorite, if not my favorite cartridge. And that is all we are shooting today. Oh, except for the one on the end here that I forgot, all about, I forgot all about that. Yep. I'm not going to lie. Yep. That's not the Navy model in one grand. That is an old school in one grand chambered in 30 out six. Sorry, my bad. Forgive me. All Let's right. not start over. Let's just keep rolling with it because we're humans here, right? All right. So with that, we are got everything from the 1920s to the 20 teens and we are going to be over here. You like that, by the way? Oh, okay. I did that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to be shooting every last one of these, giving our own personal opinion. And of course, are we doing another grading scale? Yep. One to ten. One yeah. to ten. Okay. All right, perfect. So right. we've got everything in chronological order, mostly. Don't argue us like, oh, well, the AR-10 technically became, you know, before some of these because we're going kind of off a of service date slash manufacturer. So mostly in correct chronological order. Okay, Are we we good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Comment I'm section, you good with that? If you're not, oh no well. Way they're good with that. All you subreddit yeah. edge lords can kick it <laughs> good 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 all right so dates for each of these rifles starting with the og battle rifle 30 out six m1 grand 1928 fal fusil automatic legere one of my personal favorites not showing any bias yet 1953 m14 1954 g3 1958 which obviously also keep in mind yes i'm giving the military designation for all of these these, yeah, none of these are full auto. Big sad, uh, I know, but I am throwing it out there that every last one of these are civilian models. Okay? It's a PTR 91. It's a PTR 91. Yeah. All right, but today it's the G3. Okay, 1958 BM59. Can you guess? 69. You serious? No. I don't know. 59, Kaya, come 59. on. Jesus. 51. 1959. Who bought that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Galil, 1972. Chance for Redemption. Chance for Redemption, the M77. What year? 1969. Great. All right. Great year. Man. Great year. 1977. All right. We're over here now with the SR25, okay? In service in 1990. All right, entered service, first saw combat around 96 or so. Maybe yeah, saw some things beforehand, some clandestine. We, I, I don't know exactly, all right? I'm not a historian, I'm not mad. All right, SCAR 2004, HK MR762 AK. Today it's the 417, yep. 2006. We've got the SAR, which is pretty much your 308 uh, Tavor 2013. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the APC 308, which is Jason's favorite, the 2018. And then we've got the Sig Spear 20. 19 which obviously Aaron's, Aaron's which, is, favorite, which is Aaron's favorite okay so let's just go ahead and I, I we're gonna get right into shooting right away uh, we've got some really cool guns laid out I am a huge fan of some older guns so running a clip a clip clip a clip a clip, oh, through a the, clip? Wow a clip. <laughs> <laughs> the M1 Garand as most would say through this yeah. I'm really excited for and then what really surprised me when we started looking up the dates was that the FAL what came before the M14? Hmm. And then you think about the original chambering, 280 British and everything. I do believe more and more I think about it, we we Pe lost. People are we lost to change, dude. We lost. Especially when these it, days. people are it's very hard to get people to change their mind. Yeah. They're so used to this platform. Good stocks. They're like, oh no, we yeah. gotta continue doing that. So. Yeah, yeah. And then the roller delayed action is goodness of the G3. I mean, this is freaking awesome, right? And then look at this paratrooper BM59 with the removable grenade launcher mount. We'll show that off here a little bit later. I am super excited to run what is probably the M14 improved. So, right off the bat. 30 seconds each. Which one do you think you're gonna hate? Which one do you think you're gonna love? Go. Uh, I'm gonna roll with the anything wood. I'm pretty sure Ken Hackathorn would approve as that as well. So. Well, none of them can mount lights, so you're right. Okay, <laughs> all right, uh, Aaron? I'll have to agree with the same way. I'll yeah. have to go the same route on that one. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Personally, I think it's gonna be, I, throwing a curveball here, you know what I think might be one of my top? The M77. Mm, the okay. M77. Really? 
Got wood still, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of black. Yeah, that's right. It's over there somewhere. And uh, Kyle, I would say what I'm not uh, dislike the most. Yeah, probably the BM59. What? What? I think so. you it's just got, became the it's fan. Got a hated. Well, hey, wait. Yeah, you guys you asked me what dislike I like. I haven't shot it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. thinking based on the looks of it. That's right. I may not like this as much. Yep. And in my opinion, I'm going to really like that APC 308 and the G3. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's go ahead and load up some mags and let's go do this. Proven, reliable. Galil. There you go. All right, P. Alec. He's not dead. He's just not here. Oh, that's just the sound of Dude, freedom. Clint, just love what, what's we gotta get going? All the guns has got no optics. What's going on? What's the iron sights? You don't need optics, man. You can't throw an EOTech on an M1 Grand, and we want to make sure it's a fair fight. So iron sights on everything, it's just easy that way. And uh, also, I mean, you can't change out the muzzle devices on some of them. So factory, how they come, is how we're going to be shooting them with iron sights. Fine. Let's do it. All right, Jason. So I've got everything greased up here. I, I this should this one should run pretty good. It's been in the warehouse for a long time though, so we're gonna try it out here. Have you loaded one of these before? I have, but I'm gonna let you do it. It's all good. I got, got none, why you got your gloves I, on? I got dude. none to prove, player. I'm good. Are you, are you afraid of it? Nope. I just like my thumbs. You just like your thumbs. Look, you just put it in. You know, you just you, know, you just do a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. You just give a little love tap. I I hear you, man. There you go. Thanks. It's just been a minute for me. That's all. I appreciate you. Yep. I love this gun. Mm. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and start off with old 1928 over here, the M1 Garand. Uh, Kaya, let's just go in order here. Right oh, down rating? The line. Yeah, oh, rating, man. What do you, where do you rate it as the battle of the battle rifles? Where does it fall in your book? So, so I'm going to try to be honest here and fair, obviously, at the same time, because 2024, we've got all these new guns, and this thing was in the 30s, right? It created in the 30s. So I'm trying to be fair. I, yeah, thinking you know, about. I, I think that's definitely a good point to bring up yeah. because obviously the newer guns are going to have more features and different different things to offer, right? Yes. So with that being said, I am going to grade these hard based off of what we have available today, personally. Okay, so based off what we have available today. Yep. If As a battle do... rifle, if I had to take into combat right now. Right now. Well, then I would definitely give the M1 Grand about four. Okay. And uh, because it just isn't as practical yeah. as some of these new guys here. But the iconic, which, which is my favorite word here at Classic Firearms, super iconic. Obviously, we won wars with this. Not the 1911, the M1 Grand. Yeah, 1911, <laughs> the M1 Grand. So number four, I think, uh, well, I give it a four because it is M1 Grand. Yep, yep. So. Uh, for me, it is hands down my favorite rifle to shoot. And that reiterated happened t today, right? I love shooting that gun. I love the manipulation. And I love showing that, hey, you can give yourself Grand Thumb without it being painful, you know? And uh, it's, I, I absolutely love this gun. With that being said, uh, it's gonna be a solid five because I believe right. that that rifle without any gizmos and gadgets sets the standard as to what a rifle should be. And oh, that, so you're saying you would take, I mean, five is a very good number. I think that's yeah. very fair. You, would you take this to a battle today? Uh, I would feel comfortable manipulating that, running that. Uh, yes, yes yeah. I would. Especially but, if there's a lot of things out there that won't run. Yeah, because so. what is it, a five, <laughs> 10 round? Max. It's an eight-round eight round, right? Eight-round clip. Eight-round clip. Eight round uh, 30 out six coming at you, and yeah. very reliable too. I've, we've never had any issues with this. Yeah. I mean, at least I have not yeah. seen it. Have yeah. you? Uh, well, with there are some stipulations here. If I had that correct ammo on hand, you're talking M2 ball or yeah. just something 150 grain. Yeah. Anything outside of that, you start playing with op rod destruction. I see. Okay. And now, how often does that actually happen? Let me know down in the comments. Mm. I haven't had it happen here, and we have run a lot through this guy. All right. So just throwing that out there. And uh, but you keep it at 150 grain, you're going to have a very reliable functioning firearm. Gotcha. Keep it greased up, and you're going to have it. Great. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to cut you down, and I'm going to take this one. First time shooting it, surprised the hell out of me. I've heard a lot of stories. I hear you talking about it all the time. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Yeah. But for the purpose of the modern day, yeah, I have to go with a four. I'm yep. going to have to agree with that because practicality of what we know, what, where we're at at this point in time yeah. with technology, I've got to give it a four. Yeah. Wow. For me, six. 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 Nostalgia vibes. 
Um, every time I hear that clip hit the ground, it just, whew, Yeah, or it's, like, it's even the ping as soon as yeah. it exits, you know? Yeah. And then you hear it even more so, especially if you're on concrete. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. But it is yeah. a very comfortable gun to shoot. I will say that, yeah. so yeah. definitely six. Cool. What the US should have adopted. Mm. FAL, which is the DS Arms SA58 here today, paratrooper model, uh, no cushion on this stock. What'd you think, man? I would absolutely give a give it a solid six. It's a little different platform, but it's FN. It's been out there forever and it runs great. And I was yeah. very accurate with it. Yeah. So yes, but what is that? We get a 20 round mag. With That's this right. Thing? It's 20. 20 round of 308. Dude, I'm ready. Give there's, it to me. There's, uh, there's metal mags out there. There's extendos out yeah. there for it as well, which is awesome. Uh, shooting this full auto, yeah. which I have proud to say I've done multiple times, mm -hmm. is super controllable too, especially if you add the high back device. Okay. It forces you down. It's crazy. Gotcha. No, fantastic. A solid six, guys. Yep. I'm going to agree with you on the six. Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love the FAL. I love the manipulation and the controls over it. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, I think there are some things better out there. Yeah. I'm going to go with a five. I'm going to be similar to what you guys said also. Um, manipulation wise, especially again, a lot of these are the first time I've shot some of these guns. First time shooting that gun, accuracy wise, pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie to you with that. Even though it's not known for that. It's yeah. like a four MOA gun, but right. for a hundred yards, for hundred yards, it's I mean, doing it, was, it. Yeah. it was slapping steel out yeah. there. So I have to go with the five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here to break the, break the bank off three for me. Um, <laughs> uncomfortable. Didn't like it. What? Manipulation wasn't the greatest for me, and I can rock a mag in there. Yeah. Calm down, yeah. comment section. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it just, I didn't really, I find it very antiquated for what it is. Mm -hmm. And that's just me. Um, you'll see you guys what I say as we continue. Yep, fair enough. Yeah. All right. Big sad. M14, what'd you think? A solid five, it's magazine fed. I mean, just. I mean, the rest of them are magazine yeah, fed. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's why it's, it's going up from M14. Oh, oh, from the, oh, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got so it's yeah. magazine fed, so that gets me, uh, cause it's about the same platform, right? I mean, 308 yeah. versus 30 odd six, magazine fed, extra rounds, very, yeah, you can manipulate this thing all day long. Five, dude, Yeah, I love it. M14 yeah. for me, I love the M14, I truly do, but it's gonna be right there with the FAL for me, it's gonna be a six. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm gonna go five. Um, again, everything, especially again, first time shooting this gun, accuracy wise, amazing compared to yeah. what I was expecting. But again, if we're talking modern day rifles, I've got to keep it in the five mark and just yep. guys back. Yep. All right, well, seven for me. It's very comfortable, extremely comfortable, yeah. extremely accurate. I mean, that in an M1A EBR chassis is literally the same thing. I love it, it works. So, so, it. so you're saying America went the right direction by leaving the FAL behind and go and adopting the M14? Yeah. 100%. You're the only one. I will say that. <laughs> yeah. I, think I will very, die on that hill. I think they're very close, but at the end of the day, I do believe the FAL, I think, I, I, okay, you yeah. know what? I'm changing. Six and a half, six. That that way I can just say. Four MOA, solid one MOA. It depends, but oh, it depends. Come on, there's come also on some, the, out of the, the, I'm saying there's some stipulations too there. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Let us know what you guys think, comment section, because mm -hmm. we got some, we got some conflict over here, mm -hmm. which <laughs> both of those have seen a lot of. The proper way to chamber a roller delayed firearm is to slap it as if it called your mom ugly and send that. <laughs> So with that, G3. My favorite, I love this gun. I mean, Oh, it, your favorite, it, there it is. One of my favorites. Ah. And my favorite isn't in the firearms world, right? Yeah, sure. Not necessarily on this table. And 
absolutely a solid eight. Super accurate gun, easily, like recoil management is great. That's why I did it one-handed because I want people to see like, dude, this is, some people think this thing just kicks you. Oh. It actually doesn't, that roller right. delay action, fantastic. And obviously, so many militaries have used it. To this day, this gun is being used in the battlefield. Oh yeah. And guess what? Give me this thing, a few extra magazines, I'll go to I'll go to battle with this thing yeah, right now. I, I love I love this gun. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a it's a seven for me. Seven, it is everything you said, super soft shooting, mm -hmm. and who doesn't love a roller delayed action, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a little dated, but so are a lot of these operating systems that are still just running. Yeah. So you, I seven. I'm gonna go solid. I'm gonna give a six and a half. I'm gonna get a half point on this one. Only thing that I did not like about this again, flat shooting. Everything was comfortable. Exactly what you guys said. I know what you're gonna say. I was doing that C <laughs> clamp because we go the American way on things, and I was blocking my front but sight. But here's the deal: you put an optic on it, you fix it. I got you. That's I it. got you. But I went with that C clamp. I couldn't see my sight, and I had to adjust my grip on it. But that's, I mean, that's the only downfall that I saw really on that. So mm -hmm. I'm going it's six like an and AK. Half. So you can't C clamp an AK because you'll block your sights. So there you go. I better see the same numbering. Over here. That's a good thing is my numbering, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it did very well. Like Aaron was saying, you know, if you put use your thumb over bore, you might get it in a way, but it is it's very soft, extremely yeah. soft yes. recoiling, yeah. and there was really nothing to it. But it didn't just send it over the hill for me. But okay. it was alright. Fair was enough. Sick. I will say it's Bunch got one it's got one really useless feature on it, and that is the uh, index mag release. Yeah. yeah. Because that thing is so, just like the MP5, it's so yeah, over here. It's so like, you've got it if you want it, yeah. but you're, you gotta be like, I don't know, like, fingers. like, like, yeah. you know, freaking Jack Skellington be able to do, yeah. manipulate I think that thing. There's a two man crew, uh, there's a two man crew gun. Get on the show, Shaq. Your buddy actually <laughs> presses the button for you. There you go. With that sound logic. All right, Kaya, <laughs> BM, paratrooper BM-59 with the removable, removable grenade launcher. We'll do that, you know, after we're done shooting here and I'll show you guys that. But this thing is just, too freaking cool there you go and uh let's send it also winter trigger yeah right there i'm not going to pull that down with the loaded mag and the safety off because that trigger is functioning so keep that in mind all right let's shoot this guy the next one yeah right. this one yeah okay well before we roll into it i know you're eager let's just go ahead and hear uh -huh. a brief word from our sponsor it's not a video game yet <laughs> <laughs> hey guys we're going to take a moment to interrupt this content to bring you word from the sponsor of this video sonoran desert institute now of everyone at classic i've probably built the most guns myself and i know a lot of you guys out there like to work on and repair your guns at home as well if you're looking for a way to take that hobby to the next level sonoran desert institute could help the online courses at SDI cover a broad range of topics, including armor certification, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and gun finishes, sports shooting management, and more. They even send tools and materials directly to your home so you can get hands-on training while you're covering this coursework. So if you're looking for a way to get an education that you could actually apply to your job or start a new career, definitely contact SDI at 480-999-4767 or visit sdi.edu. And now I know you're eager to get to yes. the BM-59. Uh, or 69. Uh, well, like okay, it. not at all, but yeah, sure. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> so initially I said, you know, this may be my least favorite, yeah. and boy, was I right. Oh, shit. <laughs> was not yes. expecting wow. that. Yes. Right. Definitely said it was gonna throw us off on something. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. That, that, so. that was it. Yeah. yeah, I will give this one a two. Really? Wow. Yeah, for me, just, uh, just didn't like it. I don't know if it's this guy right here or this little weird looking grip or, this whole thing, just throw it away. Let's move on to this guy right here. Mark at James River Armory is gonna come down here and beat you, bro. I <laughs> love this gun, right? It's now, granted, as a modern battle rifle, eh, I don't know the last time that I would use a rifle grenade. Are they right. cool? I would, absolutely. So yeah. this gun, super cool though, and I said it before, I'll go ahead and show you guys really quick how to remove the uh, grenade launcher uh, part aspect of it. And uh, let's just take, uh, let's just... Knife. Yeah, my little pocket knife here. That spring is nice and tight on there. And uh, actually, just mind holding it real quick because sure. usually I'll just put it on the deck. Put it right there between my legs, go ahead. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, so anyway, Pause. it does have the uh, Italian word for disassembly. Um, 
smontaggio, you know, I think is. Montage is. You see that? Smontage. Fragile, it must be Italian. Yeah, something like that. It's, it's right in here. Yeah, right and it gives you an, not a, a direction of which way you're supposed to rotate it, just like the Huxford silencers. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anyway, you just pop the spring really quick, rotate just a little bit, and you're ready for this. It's like a two lug system. Yeah. Look at that, what you told her about, what you got, and that's it right there. Oh, somebody lied. Circumcised. Yeah, well, nice. I mean, there it is. And then to put it back, everything in the reverse order, but like I said, that spring is super tight. So again, take that, this pot, you can see where I'm prying that spring out just a little bit and rotate. Mm, she's that's in. pretty cool. Rock and lock. Nice. That's it. So I, I thought that was have. pretty unique. Wow. All right, <laughs> this guy, that. it is heavy. I will say that. It's a heavy dude. Yeah. Um, the, the way it's shot and everything else, loved it. I love the winter trigger. It's just a cool feature. Yeah. How useful is it though? Uh, I, I just wish they didn't you know what they did to <laughs> this. Shooting in the snow would be really useful. I just wish this thing didn't move unless safety was engaged. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I get that. If they could have done that, because. If safety's off, yeah. you move this thing far enough, it's gonna go off. The Italians don't agree with you. All right, All right so with that, That's for me, too. <laughs> uh, for me though, it's it's gonna get a uh, it's gonna get a solid five. All right. Oh yeah. wow. I'm gonna go with a four. Uh, yeah. Again, never shot this gun before. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed shooting it accuracy wise. Again, great. This I expected to be painful to have in the shoulder. Was not at all. Um, but I've got to give it a four. Just again, we're doing modern aspect mm -hmm. of things, and then yeah. when we get to the technologies of certain other guns. I mean, it's got to get a four. I would love to shoot that grenade launcher. Let me see. So you got the grenade launcher mount. You got a bipod in there. Right. You got the winter trigger. You got a folding stock cool for your concealed features, carry needs. But if we were about to go to after it right now, it's not where it's at. Yeah, I'd shoot yeah. something else. I, I understand that. Yeah. Well, for me and this wonderful pasta fazuli, I'm gonna give it a five. Pasta it was, fazuli. It's great. Nice. Um, it was very repeatable. Um, very easy to shoot. Uh, reminded me of the, you know, M14. It was just very solid mm -hmm. overall. It's all good. I liked it. Yep. Cool. All right. Let us know. Comment section. Do you agree? Now, something you guys are going to notice is that we made sure that as close as possible, all the guns were equal. Obviously, we're taking them right out of the box and bringing them to the range. So whatever the manufacturer has as far as an attachment goes on the muzzle, we're leaving. But we didn't want to throw optics on guns that aren't running optics like, you know, the M1 Garand and everything else. But everything did have attachments or availability for iron sights. So that's what we threw on all the guns. Are they the same iron sights? No. Are you going to be upset about that? Probably. It's the internet. Anyway, let's just go ahead and keep shooting. The Galil. Galil, this freaking thing, I'm gonna try to go ahead and just leave out the fact that it made me deaf. Yes. Um, out of the equation because the shooting experience sucked because of that. However, felt recoil is nice, it's accurate, it does everything I want it to do. And obviously the OG Galil is definitely yeah. something a little bit more that I'm a favor favorite of, but I will give this a solid seven. Seven? Cool. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I completely, my that's, bad. That's I'm hopping good. right into it, go yeah, for it. That's all I just good. thought about the, how Deaf this thing made me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give Galil a solid seven as well. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that brake oh, right away. If I take put a silencer on it. <laughs> yeah. Or, or that, or just a yeah. good old flash hider. It was not pleasurable to shoot at all. Yeah. It was really, really bad. But everything else, fantastic. Yep. So yep. I gotta agree with you. I'm gonna go seven on this one. I'll agree with you with changing that out. Yep. That's 100 percent where those shots coming from. Oh, right there. See oh. fucking a fireball coming out of this. Um, comfortable shooting more of a modern day setup for me here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go with the seven. Yep. yep. For me, I'm gonna go with six. And the only reason why it's any lower than everybody else's is because that break was unbearable. That's um, it. Yeah. it kept it on target, which was cool, but like it made your teeth chatter. So yeah, yeah. yeah. six for me. There you go. All right. I'm 77.
and the M77, our only AK variant on the table here, or whatever you want to call this bench. Uh, what do you think? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give that one a six. Okay. And the reason for that is, man, I mean, it's AK, obviously, plat it was Zostavar. Yeah. AK platform is awesome. Not my gun, Yeah. because I'm not really used to it. Uh, ergonomically, it's okay for me, mm -hmm. and I really don't like that cheap weld. AK beats me out pretty good, so okay. six. Six. Uh, I'm, I'm obviously a fan of this gun. I probably went into it thinking I was gonna like it more, you know, yeah. than whatever. I, I come into my head with the bias, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, all right, you know what? Yeah. Calm it down a little bit. I love the uh, this the adjustable gas system on it is really cool. I do think it's an ergonomic gun. Like the way it handles and everything. For me, it's gonna be about a six and a half though. All right. I'm gonna yeah. go with a six mm -hmm. AK platform. It, I mean, it works through a lot, so I'm good with that, especially when it comes to the modern day aspect of going out there and getting into a fight. I don't like where things are set up again, again, because I'm used to one way, but I'll go with the six and I definitely would take that out with me. Yeah. I'm gonna go with six. It just kind of hit middle of the road for me. Yeah. Wasn't good, wasn't bad. It just did what it did, so. What, yeah. middle of the road be five? Uh, yeah, but a little edge, a little edge because it's 308. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, fair enough. They're all they're all 308 minus the M1 though. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Six. don't question it. Question. <laughs> <Six. laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Next. All right, SR25. All Next up, the SR25 Knights, of course. All right, Kyle, what uh, is it? Let him have you know it. what I'm gonna give, give him? I'm gonna give you guys four. Mm -hmm. And reason for that is, what? I'm gonna give, you know why I'm gonna give it a four? Uh, not I because of the gun's functionality. Yeah. Okay, it, it, it's a it's two grip. No, not that either. <laughs> I mean, okay, it, it's a great gun. It's an AR-10 pretty much, right? SR25. Why is it so expensive? Oh, well, it is so, it's what, a four or five grand? What is this thing? I think it was like 65. Uh, 65. I think it's 6,500. I think it's because of the logo on the side of it. Okay, so because of that, I'm giving it a four. The poor Not the rejoice. functionality. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it shoots good, but it, it, it doesn't shoot uh, so good to a point where I would pay $6,500 for this thing. Yeah. yeah. So four. That's not what I'm basing my, um, on, yeah. you know, uh, to be completely honest, or else I completely agree with you. Yeah. I will say the overall functionality, the longer rail, the everything, the, the trigger, all of that, the ambi controls. I'm a big fan of, of the AR-10 platform, the SR-25 platform. And it's, it's, it's pretty good up there for me. It's gonna be a seven and a half for me. Okay. I'm gonna go to seven. Again, I know we tore this one apart one day, but um, I'll have to go to seven again for the modern rifle aspect of things that we're utilizing this for. I've got to go with the seven. Everything I know here, I feel it out the same way I feel on AR-15 and four platform. So, yep, I'm going with seven. Right, I'm gonna go with uh, about a seven as well. With it naked, with nothing on it, is very wieldable, very manageable, and this thing is perfectly gassed. Yeah, all to the, the gas. Yes, yes. the yeah, ejection like pattern was consistent yeah. no matter what, no matter how you fired. Perfectly gassed. It, it, it hit on all bells and whistles for me. So it's gonna get a seven. Yeah. Perfect. Two. If you didn't know this, UGG was also in the market for stocks. Tactical UGG boot, baby. Let's shoot this scar here. All right, you think the break is gonna be worse than the Galil? No, I don't think it could be any worse. Close, man. All right, rolling into now the FN SCAR, mm. the Special Operations Combat Assault Rifle, right? Dude, <laughs> solid eight. eight? And the, yeah, solid eight. It is super light. Okay, it's a 308 gun. It's super light. You know, non reciprocating charging handle, obviously, over there. Yeah. And this one is proven to be super accurate. And the uh, SOCOM obviously adopted it. SCAR 16 kind of crapped the bed, right? But uh, 17 is still out there and doing some good things. So it shoots really good too. And that break is loud, yeah, but it's not as loud as the, uh, obviously this little thing. And it's super flat shooting gun. Yeah. yeah. 
the uh, the scar. I mean, it's still not among. I mean, it's popular in pop culture, right? Yeah. Uh, but I will say this: though, I've talked to a lot of people in special operations that find this not to be all that great for them. Correct. Uh, so you know there is that. However, the non-reciprocating charging handle is great. The UGG boot is it kept breaking. It, it works. It's, it, it works enough, you know, for our <laughs> use. Uh, limited rail space. I do believe personally the scar is quite overrated. That does not mean I wouldn't personally own one. Right? I think it's a cool gun. I do like it a lot, but at the end of the day, it's it's gonna get about a six for me. Six. All right, I'm gonna go with a six also. Does mm -hmm. the job. Thank God I figured out how to adjust <laughs> this this time. So that's why it's getting a six now for modern day usage. I think it's works. Does the job. Yeah. All the above functionality, everything like that, and it was fairly flat shooting for me also. So right. All right. Here we go. Six. It is the most antiquated new age gun on this bench right now that makes truly, sense truly yeah, that makes sense. limited rail space um the warranty on can't suppress it but you can but it comes with an adjustable gas block make up your mind um this <laughs> Ugg boot, whatever <laughs> it, regardless um Ugg boot is absolute trash and like it's 2024 why do we not have a better grip from the factory this doesn't make any sense i understand knights because of nostalgia and i get it cool but this gun, no. This gun lived in SOCOM for a little bit and it died in SOCOM very quick. I think A2 was quick. requested by the uh, SOCOM. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, trash. They don't know what they're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't go go along on this one. And that break is absolutely atrocious. I will say so. it's a more violent shooter yes. than the Galil. However, the Galil is just louder yeah. and what that's what made it obnoxious. Yeah. But as far as being the two most uncomfortable guns to shoot, these got it. Yeah. Uh, but that's just because of the sound over here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, with that, the FN Scar, you know, it's it's a little bit better than average. Yeah. Yep. And maybe if it took AR-10 mags, that'd be cool too. But yeah. What's up with that? Magic. Yeah. Store. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna talk about the next one. Ooh. Hey Ryan. Yeah. You know how to make HK fanboys cry? How? Feed an MR7 a one some barn all. Mmm. You can take it. Make well, me feel good. Felt like the Scar almost couldn't take it. Let's do this. Into that the HK MR 762A1, the 417, have it. It was by far my favorite gun to shoot today, yeah. And it gets a nine, nine yeah, nice. for sure. Shot super smooth, very accurate. Obviously, the whole platform is very familiar AR 10, yep. uh, AR platform. Overall, there's nothing bad to say, and obviously, kicking butt around the world right now, yeah. yeah so uh, the HK MR 762A1 that we have here uh, will get a um, an eight from me. Okay. Uh, if I had the true MR 762A1 that the German citizens can actually get, uh, it would get a eight and a half because I like ambi controls. The but one thing I would do immediately is shave off these sling mounts on the stock yes. because I'm always hitting my jaw on it or something that I think that is just inappropriately placed. The stock itself, I like it. It's, it's great. Softest shooting gun on this table. Yep. Uh, the G3 competes, but I, to me, and maybe it's just it was my size of demeanor. Yeah, it, this yeah. was definitely the softest shooting gun. I love the mr 762 a one So overall eight and a half for me. All right, I'm gonna go nine on this one. Yeah. Size and demeanor, I don't think has anything to do with it. Soft shooting, yeah. I think it was the best one on this table also, and you know I'm a sick guy when it comes to this. So yeah. I'm gonna, I mean, the ambi controls, everything just felt great. We've got the full rail on top, so we could play, put whatever we want on top of that eventually down the road. But I think it was the probably the best shooting. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can head out if you want to. Yeah, I, I think the gun is gassed up more than what it is. It's a great shooting gun, and please do not get me like twisted with that. It's a great shooting gun. It does not have ambi controls. It's beefy in spots where it doesn't need to be beefy. It is very soft, but that's about it. Oh, okay. And it's proprietary mag, so that's a strike. That's the thing. only reason uh, it And the mags right. are literally okay. it's, ninety dollars. It's the only reason it's not a perfect ten yeah. for me is I would like easier easier adjustment. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't as of right now I have an adjustable gas system. I'd like an easier um, on the fly adjustment. Yep. Uh, ambi controls, AR ten mags, and we've got a winner. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, HK, are you listening? We would also like an SP7, you know, but... <laughs>
Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not a rating, but that's a no. <laughs> All oh. right. Oh, God, that's going to suck. Moving into the SAR, the only bullpup on the table, what'd you think? Seven. Okay. That's because the bullpup, I'm not yep. used to it. Shot really good, everything was good. It's just felt a little recoil because of the bullpup uh, thing and it's a little heavy. Yeah. And I gotta get used to those controls. But yeah. overall, I mean, it's a solid gun. Yeah. If, if I remember, this is still a long stroke piston driven design, correct? Yeah. Correct. So <laughs> it runs a, a, an operating system Similar to that of the AK. Uh, so if you're gonna say another AK variant, dare I? No, no <laughs> absolutely no. not. But the bullpup design overall keeps it nice and compact. Uh, the I went in thinking this is gonna be terrible to shoot. It is actually pretty pleasurable, but I noticed it was kind of bouncy. Uh, so it wasn't all that great for me. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I like it. it. It did everything I wanted it to do. It's gonna be a seven. I'm gonna give it a six. I obviously I'm not used to these controls. I've got to counter the whole bouncy feeling. I felt like it, I had more control, but I don't know if yeah. it's my arms are different feeling yeah. in there. Really? When your I was arms. Just you know, different, you, you no, know, don't there's a little something oh, in there okay. to fit in that. Little just say, just crevice. say your arms are bigger. Yeah, it was okay, a crevice just say. right there that it fit in yeah. pretty good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, I felt like it, it was more balanced for me. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't get too much balance on it. So I'm going to give it a six just for the simple fact I'm not familiar with all this here. Yeah, and you, the first thing you try to do is like, this thing got an adjustable length of pool? Yeah, and that was the first <laughs> thing I went for. <laughs> no, it's so not the hell. I just yet. tucked it in, in there and then <laughs> went to town. <laughs> yep, six. I will say this for me, seven. It shot just as soft as the HK for me. It's extremely controllable, ex extremely wieldable, and it's managed right there from the arm it is a bullpup design it is a Tavor it does exactly what it needs to do I don't see any issue with it other than you know if you're not familiar with locking the bolt back and yeah. it's got this yeah. little up lock and it's it the controls it was actually really really soft to shoot and the trigger on this for it being a bullpup it's was actually, not bad yeah yeah that so, was something I forgot to hit on you're yeah. right about that yeah, yeah. the trigger is very good so for me seven all right Nine. perfect two APC 308 let's do this here Great start. Oh, that was three. We'll make it. Okay, not the mag. Turn the gas off. All right. Uh, yeah, so BNT see. doesn't shoot steel rounds. Right. But here's the, here's the thing. That's not even All right, so we're having some issues with the BNT APC 308 running the steel cased ammo. Uh, looks like it. It could be a whole conglomerate of, of issues, but we're gonna go ahead and try to rule one of them out, which is the gas system. We've got the gas system cranked up, adverse 1.4 is the correct setting, right, Jason? Right. All right, so we've got a Lancer mag here, which has been feeding just fine. We've run P mag through it, still issues with still. We're just gonna run the brass ammo that we have here and see how it does. So it's See. safe to say that the BNT APC 308 does not like the steel case ammo that we were running through it whatsoever. And uh, that is something just to be noted because uh, a lot of people, as I may have yelled already once, if it doesn't run still, then it doesn't deserve brass. Doesn't is that your mindset, it. Jason? Yeah. Doesn't deserve it. Amen. So uh, DNF. Okay. DNF. It, yeah, it, yeah, because we're running a bunch of steel case today. so. We and, take a break uh, and we just do this. All right, well, let's, just, let's just do this, man. So the, the BNT AP, I was the only one that uh, actually shot it. <laughs> attempted to. Attempted to. Oh, well, and um, it, it is a nine. It, it is a nine. As in Hold nine, on. don't take it? Nine, 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 nine. nine, nine. nine. <laughs> <laughs> it is a nine. In what world? With brass. With brass. No. Brass no. ammo. No, you didn't shoot it. No. You didn't shoot it. Even with, with brass, brass ammo. Brass. All right. When it, even uh, when it ran. I shot it. I shot the APC-308 many times. Oh, okay. And yeah. you still feel? Well, I question your credibility. I, I love. Well, I did. <laughs> we, we, we got what a we video. Do. Yeah. I love this gun. And I was utterly disappointed that it didn't shoot or cycle. What it shoot at all, actually. The Barnall. Yeah, the Freaking steel ammo. BNT, what's going on? Uh... 
Okay, so yeah. my thoughts on the APC 308, actually having shot it today and everything, talk about bouncing. Yeah. The, the saw was nowhere near what I, you know, like at least that's manageable, it's controllable, it is closer to the body, but I just felt like for a bullpup, I was expecting it to be a little bit more manageable than what I threw out there. Mm -hmm. That was, and this is the DMR model, right? Uh, which I know they're all battle rifles, but we're doing with what we got. Uh, I was expecting that to be a lot softer shooting and a lot flatter shooting, and that was absolutely not what I got when it when it ran with brass. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I'm not even gonna give it a rating because it did not finish. Um, all these other guns ran great, right? Uh, so that's 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 we, that. We skipped to the next. Yeah. We got nothing to give for it. Uh, BNT, just got a couple questions. It's 308. Why are we using such small charging handles on this gun? They do be itty bitty. They're itty bitty. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. It really itty doesn't. Itty bitty to me. I mean, for, they for, work. They work okay hands. for. They work okay for me. I hear you, man. <laughs> but even the scar has a bigger one than that. Yeah, the, so, the primary I mean, the one. The primary is, one. Yeah. I mean, this just doesn't make any sense. It's bouncy as hell due to that hydraulic buffer system, and it could not eat any steel case. So if it does, if it can't. Eat steel case, it doesn't deserve brass. And that right there's Switzerland. No, no bueno. No, sir. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? I'll be talking to them soon. I actually really want to know the sweet. answer to this. All this fluting for nothing. Yeah. 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 All, right. yeah. All, right. All, right. All right, guys. You know I'm excited about this one. The winner, the Six Spear. You guys already know what time it is here. You shot it yet. You shut it. Next up, we've got the Sig Spear. Kyle? Absolutely a nine, okay? It, honestly, I would have given it a 10 if Sig didn't have that horrible muzzle device. Yeah, okay, Sig, if you guys put an actually a decent muzzle device on that gun, I'd have given it a 10. It shoots really good. It, over, it's, dude, it's a fantastic weapon system. Sig nailed it but crap the bed with that muzzle device. And that's just because they want you to buy their silencer. Yeah. So with that, if it weren't for that muzzle device, it would, it would probably get a solid eight for me. Um, and these ones to me are just super comparable, but like you said, it's 2020. Why don't we have the ambi controls? Why do we still have A2 grips, right? At least SIG hits it out of the park with their, with their uh, furniture. Definitely a big fan of that. You've got everything you need, adjustable gas system. You've got obviously all the even the side charging in addition to your traditional charging the piston driven system is awesome sig obviously hit a home run with it but yeah get rid of that muzzle device and it would absolutely take the cake uh in my mind on that one so so i'll eight eight for me just all because right. it just it feels good beautiful so i can't give a 10 because the 10 is one of those numbers i feel like you're just you just can't reach Shh. you just let don't me, want let to me finish I, I give it a nine all right sig does it for me you guys know that Call the fanboy, call it what you want. I'm very close with the HK. I honestly, I'd go either way when it came to this. We know. But you know what? <laughs> you go either way. Pause, can you help me out here? Pause, thank yeah. you. Jesus. <laughs> Sig, nine. It, it does it for me, the furniture, everything like that. And we talked about the break already, so that was covered with Clint. Um, I give it a nine. Nice. I'm gonna give it an eight. And here's the reason why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would love this in, an, in its SBR form. Mm. So, mm. Uh, I think it's very doable in yeah. its SPR form. It's very accurate in this 308, 100%. And that's just me. Everything on this gun is ambi. Everything. Reinforced steel this, reinforced that. If you wanted to be like a scar with a charging handle on the other side, you've got that. You've got this. You've got side, char side folding stock. Can be fired folded. All of these things are top upper echelon for me. And uh, forget that guy, but this is definitely, definitely an eight for me. Plus, it can handle every bit of steel, yes, like it's going it, out it of style. It ran still great. You like, literally said all the nice great. things, and it's an eight. Yeah. An eight, yeah. yeah. What? That's that's, that's, that's that's me. No, that's I'm just saying. You just said this. Is, I'm just listening. Like it's the most amazing I, thing he's ever seen. Hey, it's eight. Hey man, I'm just gonna I hear you. Me. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> throw it out there. Me. There's one gun that's obviously missing here that would actually probably be the closest thing to a ten that I could ever imagine and um lmt if you're watching your mars h battle rifle it's literally called the battle rifle would probably actually win this hmm. if you know 
you we send, had any. Yeah, if you send him. So I'm just doing that. Send send me? No, just produce them. I, we, I would buy one. I'm just saying. So, Joe, if you're watching, love you, mean it. We're going to be doing your uh, upper receiver burn down very, very soon. So, Man. with all that, uh, who's what's your favorite? Sig? Mm. Everybody's favorite is Sig? I'm going to give a tie. I'm, I'm going to give okay. I graded it differently. I'm going to give a tie. Sig a tie yeah. for me, too. Yeah. And BNT wins it. Believe it or not. Jesus with the brass ammo. Believe it or not. Brass ammo, BNT, I got you, man. Don't worry. Because this is always here. Right. And yeah. I feel like this is always picked, and it's such yeah. a good gun. The two, what? Two, yeah. The two of these. Are your Wait, favorites? Yeah. These two? Yeah. Well, first of all, but the bullpup, he's freaking biased right there. Look at his face. Yeah, I'm a biased. Yeah. <laughs> give me this. Give me, give me, a, give me a man's gun over here. I hear you. Always. Watch this. Always. Oh, God. That's oh. your uh, oh, one thumb Clint over here, son. Mm -hmm. I actually got two thumbs. Yeah, we got two people who prestiged. <laughs> hey guys, this whole winner part, I'm just gonna, you guys are gonna get what I'm saying. This wins it for me. You said you hated it. Exactly what I'm trying to say. You guys are picking guns that shouldn't be winning. For a modern battle rifle, right? Right, right now. That's we what get I'm trying to say. I'm just saying favorite gun to shoot. <laughs> so. Yeah, I gotta stick with mine, buddy. Got to do it that way. And I know everybody has their own opinion I, I, about I, things, but... I agree with the SIG fan, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. All right, now here's here's the ultimate question. <laughs> Out of all of these guns on the table, I would find any last one of these to be desirable. Okay, maybe there's an exception. But uh, with that, if any of these could be featured at cfcontest.com, which one would it be, and how would you like to have it outfitted? If you would like to see an M1 Garand with an EOTech, mm. let me know. I could probably figure that out. Get some duct tape and some uh, that wood super wow. glue. Thing. Yeah, some glue. wood super glue. Yeah, yeah there you go. We can carve an M lock slot. <laughs> we can carve an M lock slot. Yeah, you know, we'll put a vertical grip on it. You know, it's yeah, just it like Call of Duty World War II or something. Yeah. Uh, so with that comment section lighted up, do you agree with our ratings? Have you shot some of these and thought, wow, you guys rated it that high or that low? Mm -hmm. Let us know comment section where you'll be looking out for it again. So comment down below which one of these would you like to see, perhaps at cfcontest.com, where you might be able to own one of these at no cost to you. you know i think that'd be pretty cool yeah right? i mean most of these most of these are pretty desirable firearms so yeah. there you have it guys and uh we'll leave it off there comment section can't wait to read those guys as always we appreciate you and your business god bless guys real quick what's forrest gump's password Gump. jenny jenny one forest one oh thanks for coming guys <laughs> nine <laughs> yeah. so bad oh, wow. all right well, <laughs> dad well. jokes instead of dad advice, I see.